Good morning, fellow Martians. I'm your host, Gromforks, and in today's episode of Occupy Mars, yeah, we will finally get the chance to review and see maybe we can unlock the heavy rover because I have just gotten a technological point and the only area where I was actually expecting it was in the mechanics. Yay! So that means with the blueprint that we have lovingly uncovered in the previous episode, we can finally unlock the heavy rover. Guys, this is a turning point. This From here on, everything should go quicker, hopefully. Yeah. You see, everything is unlocked, and when I start pressing it, well, it doesn't work. And I'm assuming that this is a question that a lot of you have stumbled upon. So I'm going to solve it today for you. We're going to go into the actual mechanics workbench, which I have constructed in the previous episode, and then you will realize that this is where the research is done. So here we can unlock the heavy rover. Just in case you are wondering, and just in case you are asking, why doesn't this work? It does, but you have to have a bench dedicated for it, which actually makes sense because it puts those benches to work and yeah, that has been done like there. So I'm going to queue up the heavy rover and see how much of stuff, whoa, we actually need to be able to build this darn thing. Okay, so a lot. Okay, that's the short version. We really need a lot. Right. So I'm not gonna dilly dally too much. My kind of point for today and few other days that will be coming along will be for sure that we need to start gathering materials. Whether or not we'll be able to do this with a confine of one, two or 10 episodes, I honestly don't know. It will depend on the priorities. However, one of my priorities will be to collect things up because I really want to go on the longer exploration trips and the heavy rover is actually an ideal ba mobile base because there you have a lot of life support, we have the battery, you can recharge your suit. I mean, granted, you cannot refill your water bottle. That's something that we will need to actually print a lot more and just, you know, print them out. But, um, it's to be done. So right now, after collecting some potatoes, I'm gonna split and a lot of you have been asking me like, ground forks, you're gonna be, you know, splitting your potatoes. So now I'm actually doing the seed production machine to ensure that I get superior seeds. Uh, I don't actually need the food right now, but what I'm doing, I'm just blending potatoes and growing crops so that once I actually do need them, I will be producing superior class potatoes. Yeah. What can I tell you? Mega potatoes or whatever you want to call them. All right. So with that thing being done, I think we should be taking a look. Okay. Small pipes. I'm going to go and check a requirement per requirement, how much we need to produce. And I have to figure out which route I'm going to take. So I'm now printing 29 small pipes because of the iron, aluminum plates. We need 60. So, oh yeah, this is going to be costly. <laughs> Yeah, but it does make sense. I mean, the heavy rover is a fundamental change. It's a fundamental shift in terms of how you approach the game. You're no longer confined to one area. I mean, there's other ways to not be confined to a single area, which I'm going to explore in my coming episodes if we don't manage to build the rover quickly. I mean, we do have a survival capsule and we do have our ATV, so in technically we could survive. However, in order to thrive, the heavy rover would make a huge impact in terms of how we collect things, how we mine things, and all in all, our research production should take a big and significant uptick because of this. Right, so yeah, a lot of heavy words here. Okay, so what do we have here? Now, my plan for today is I will do a little bit, to, I will see if I'm gonna go mining, but I'm actually thinking maybe it's a better way to do this. And also, I need a lot of points into the, met what was it, material section. In order to tackle both things with one go, I'm going to go and scrap the bases. So, as you can see, mechanics-wise, we are good. And I would like to build blowtorch. And uh, I was actually thinking of grinder. So, I want to do advanced blowtorch next so that I could get to the grinder 3. Because that will allow me to scrap the bases and no longer, you know, have these nasty markers around me. So, that's kind of my, that's kind of my thought on the subject. So, I'm thinking, I let me see, can I build two more solar panels or let me first recharge myself. So, as always, I want to go, it's early in the morning, it's nine in the morning, we want to stick our fingers in the socket. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Thank you. 
I feel much more energized already. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I just can pass by, pass by the fact that I see when I see like, okay, in order to recharge your suit, you should stick your fingers into the outlet. Yeah. Sure. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go to the well, and then I think we will be gonna doing today's expedition by try and actually recycle the nearby bases after all we have the grinder too which means there are i have seen that a lot of these bases have the solar panels the wells and all that jazz which will do two things for us it will increase our materials level which is great because it will allow us to build more stuff and the second one is that it will give us the materials towards a heavy rover i told you we're gonna go straight for that plan so with that thing being said, let us queue up our first base. And our first base is actually close by, but I think we already covered that one. So I'm actually thinking I should go for Hesperia Planum because I think that one I haven't yet scrapped. All right, so that's the one that's one and a half kilometers away. So we should have plenty of daylight to actually tackle that problem. And uh, yeah, so uh, right now I'm trying to clear as many things of these bases as possible because soon enough they will all be dismantled and then we'll be alone in the vast sand dunes of the Mars surface. However, uh, then after we scrapped all that we will probably... Yeah, here we go, first base after one and a half thousand kilometers. I actually managed to catch some airtime on the way here with the new rover, with the new ATV. I actually love the new ATV. It's faster, bigger range, it's awesome. It will allow us to even go places we couldn't before. So I'm thinking maybe if we don't get like the heavy rover in time, I will actually make an excursion. It will make a, a trip with overnight stay, you know, like an outdoor camping on Mars, if you want to think about it. You know, take the tents, make a little bit bonfire, grill a couple of alien organisms, and yeah, let's enjoy on the Mars. I mean, provided that we found any. However, after a lot of scrapping, we already managed to secure one technological point. And now I'm going to go inside because I think there's one or two more things that inside I want to scrap. But as you can see, we've gotten 14 electronics, packs of screws, so we are filling our inventory. But it is becoming evident that this is not going to be a simple task. It's going to be take a lot. So I'm going to scrap this. I don't know how many more we things we have upstairs or whatnot. Let, we need to still check and after some scrapping of insides of the base let's get into the rover and I think there is another base over there and I think that there are lots of solar panels there so let's go there and clean it out as well what can I tell you I'm a big sucker for the recycling and reuse of the components because we don't want to litter the Mars surface yeah we are Mars ecologists after all alright so yeah, here we don't have anything, however, we have our trusty grinder and we're gonna start on this end because this one could actually give us a small circuit board. Needless to say, I've noticed, by the way guys, a question for all of you. Where can you get medium circuit boards? Do you know? Because I've been trying to look left and right and I've never to date found any medium circuit boards. So after a lot of scrapping, we managed to secure two technological points for advancement, which is awesome. Uh, and then I have decided to leave this single pillar, which will tell me that I'm not fully done when I'm passing by. And then we're gonna go back and I'm thinking of even doing some mining if we can manage. Oh, this is like a big base. I am really looking forward to getting grinder number three and then saying goodbye to you as well. I think once we actually grind those down, it will very much contribute to the feeling of isolation and loneliness on the Mars surface. And, well, it is, on one side, it's actually terrifying with the thought that you are, you know, alone. These bases kind of give you the comfort of, yeah, you are not alone. Somebody has been here before. But once you grind them down, yeah, then it's like you and the nature. Or nature being the barren and alien surface of the Mars planet containing... Radioactive, radio, you know, isotopes on the surface floor and ground that's infertile to grow any soil as of to date, together with the CO2 atmosphere and cosmic radiation. Yeah, sounds like an ideal place to live, almost like Bahamas. Right, so let's collect the solar panels, uh, so, solar panels, iron rocks. I, I guess something is wrong with me, seriously. 
Let's see if we can mine some more and it's it, actually it's six o'clock so it's not really that late. We still have some time. However, with the same seven coming closer, we're not far from the base so we can go back and I'm still dependent on going back at night. Mainly due, due to not having the warm suit, which was one of our, your questions that I received in the previous episode. And although I have the night vision, I decided not to research it. It's just a matter of priorities. It would be handy, it would be beneficial, but I need other stuff more than that. I will come to it, I'm pretty sure of it, and I really want to, but I think I'm gonna research it at roughly the same point when we get, you know, the coolness suit, so we're no longer confined to come back, you know, to the, entry, to the interiors during the night. Okay, come on, slowly drifting. I mean, I've noticed with this ATV that it really likes to do a little bit of a drifting as well, rather than just, you know, driving. Right, so, ATV is done, let's connect it quickly. Oh, can I replenish? I think this is a misleading. I would really like to be able to replenish, but for some reason I can't, even though I do know that I'm, I am sending power on this port. Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments below. Right. This is connected, just quickly checking the battery capacity and everything else. Let me just quickly check inside. I've noticed here, when I have now automatic highlighting of this, that we have something inside. And that was confusing to me. What? What? Abandoned tablet in my base. So it was right under my ass. So what am I doing? I'm now crapping abandoned tablets? Well, that's interesting. I gotta adjust my diet. All right. So let's see, what do we have here? We have a lot of materials. I need something, sleep deprivation. Come on, I'm just gonna dump something inside this guy so I can, um, yeah, what I'm gonna dump inside here. Organic waste, nope. Uh, there is, what, what is this above? This is cables, okay. Cables I could have done here. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to get back to my main base. And maybe we'll even unlock this technological points and run the abandoned tablet. Who knows what we're gonna find out. We are coming close to 10 o'clock, so we really should get going inside. Okay, good. The coldness won't kill us anymore. External oxygen detected, beautiful. Right, so. All right, what do we have? We have the water bottle, let's replace it. What else do we have? We can take off the helmet. No, we can't because we don't have any. Okay, let's see. Uh, inventory. We can put some iron back here. Okay, that will actually give us an empty spot. I'm really missing a locker. I just need basic, you know, locker like a dumping place, container, call it whatever you want. All right, so food processing unit. I'm gonna actually get rid of potatoes. So let's kind of split them. I'll temporarily put you here. So the reason why I'm putting like four of them, I've noticed that there is a trade-off. I could put all 24 in one spot, but then I will get 24 packages with low nutrition. So the reason why I'm splitting this is because I want rather six packages with higher nutrition. And I know you can get nutrition higher by blending different uh, vegetables. We're gonna get there. Oh, and we've managed to even get a technological point for botany. Well, that's nice. Okay. So now let's review what did we manage to get. So what do we have? Take off the helmet. Ah, breathe the sweet stale air of our internal base. Okay, tech tree, botany, what do we have? I'm thinking I want to build a science bench because that will allow us to get to eventually greenhouse and greenhouse is one of the most important milestones I do wanna reach. Now we have materials, so what are we gonna do? Oh, survival capsule, that will allow outdoor trips. Beautiful, that I'm gonna uncover. Oh, and well, extension, oh, storage cabinet. Okay, I guess we can have um, finally the storage. That's beautiful. Okay, so we can actually build a storage cabinet. Well, kudos to us. Finally, I will get be able to get rid of that inventory problem I've been yapping about for the better part of the last five episodes. Okay, let's see if can, can we build the storage cabinet here. So, storage cabinet. No, that's refrigerator in the garage. What does the refrigerator do in the garage? Oh, is this the storage? 
That's also a refrigerator. Uh, okay. Living? No. That's another refrigerator. Mechanics, botany. Guys, can you tell me where the storage cabinet is located and why cannot I see it? Seed modification? Resources? No. Electricity? No. Airlocks? Where the hell is it? I mean, please do let me know in the comments below because apparently am I missing something or is one of those refrigerators actually a storage cabinet with bad naming on it? Because there are two refrigerators, there shouldn't be, okay, energy required in the garage. I would guess that the, in garage there's a storage cabinet while refrigerator is in the living area. However, it doesn't say that. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so let's go and let's gonna build the one. Once again, checking electricity. No. Resources? No. Food? No. Main HQ, food processing, small hydroponics, pack of screws, mechanics workbench, botany, refrigerator. I mean, yeah, now I'm a little bit confused to be honest. And it looks the same. Yeah, heavy rover and I'm getting near. So I'm gonna build one of those and I'm gonna use it to dump stuff in because clearly we need some place to store everything. Because, well, yeah. And it, this one seems to be like the refrigerator. Okay, so I'm gonna fridge down a lot of components. Let's see, what, what, what can we fridge down? We can fridge down this. We can fridge down the poop because it won't smell as bad. Okay, processed food, we have 14. That's I'm gonna need glass plates. Rocket fuel, we could fridge down the rocket fuel and a few other things. Okay, so final thing, I think I'm gonna lay up here and I'm gonna wrap up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.